Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be doing TTL caching or time to live caching using another package called Cache Tools. Let's go over to our interpreter settings and install the Cache Tools package. So it's right here. Just go ahead and install that. And we're going to be using one of the things in this package, but it's actually got a few different caching functions that you can look at in the official documentation linked in the resources section of this lecture. All you have to do is instead of importing func tools, we're going to say from cache tools, import cached TTL cache. Now, instead of func tools allow you cache, we want to say at cached and we're going to pass in a cache which is TTL cache and the max size, which is going to be two and the TTL, which is going to be 900. So that is a quarter of an hour. If you wanted to make this longer, you can do, but I'm just doing 900 so that it doesn't necessarily wait an entire hour for an update if there is one earlier. By doing this, you'll see that the app actually runs almost identically fast, but every 900 seconds, it will run slowly again because it will actually interact with the server again. This stuff here can be really useful, especially when you're interacting with APIs or when you're doing some sort of web scraping. For example, imagine you have a program that scrapes a website and gives the user some information back. If you have a lot of users all accessing the same program, you may be scraping the same site over and over again. Instead, what you could do is you could wrap the whole scraping in a cached uh, from cache tools and only scrape it every 600 seconds, for example, every 10 minutes. That could make your program almost infinitely faster while not hurting your users at all. So hopefully you've learned something in this video. I'll see you in the next one.